Right, we're on. Very interesting one today. So a member of the channel, Gareth, has asked me a question about the right elbow, the trail elbow in the golf swing. His question was, how far should the right elbow be from the right side, the trail elbow from trail side? Trail elbow in the golf swing. This video is going to be an absolute banger. Let's get it smashed on. It's such a hot topic in golf. You learn from this. Let's go. So an amazing topic today. Um, Gareth, as I mentioned, is a member of the channel. If you are a member of the channel, you've hit that join button, you too can give me requests and I will create a video to help your golf swing. So it's personal to you, but everyone's benefiting. It's great. So the right elbow in the golf swing. Gareth's question was, how far should the right elbow, the trail elbow, be from the trail side during the backswing and at the top of the swing? What's the answer? Depends on the player. Trail elbow, distance from trail side, during backswing to top. Are we here? Are we here? Are we here? Where are we? <laughs> Where should we be? Well, video analysis. If you film yourself, get your pal to hold the camera down the line. So this is not the perfect camera angle, but it's a ballpark. It'll give you somewhere to start from. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Take your dress position. Camera angle should be in line with hands, between hands and target, at hand height. Okay, that's the starting point. Now, Gareth, the answer to your question is, take that camera angle, visualize the line of that shaft. Okay, so draw the shaft line in there. If you use your swing plate, I'll leave you a link for a swing plate in the description below. You can use your alignment cane, so you won't need the camera. However, the camera, there's your swing plate, the camera, does not lie as long as the angle is correct. So now, let me take my address position. So this, this, this cane is roughly at the same angle, lie angle, as my eight iron that's in my hand just now. Okay? Now Gareth, when you take the club back, <coughs> take the club back, 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 back. This is your swing plane of the shaft, or your shaft plane, got the shaft plane, up to here. When you get to a position there where your lead arm is parallel to the ground, possibly just above, that club shaft should be on that cane. I know what you're thinking, what's this got to do with the right elbow? Just bear with me for one second. Once you have achieved that position there, you should be able to detect where the right elbow is. If that club shaft, when my left arm, my lead arm is parallel to the ground, or what feels parallel to the ground, so I feel as though it's parallel to the ground there, it might be slightly above, slightly below, but it's the feeling because it's specific, player specific, there. Now that club shaft should marry up with that cane, or be very, very close to it. Think about now, if that club shaft pointed over plane, so here, what's that done to my right elbow? So my trail elbow has now come closer to the body, too close to the body, which has pushed me off plane. Now the distance between my trail elbow and my right side when I'm in this position, that distance there, will be different for me than it will be for Thomas Bjorn, Sergio Garcia, Brandon Grace, Thomas Peters, Ernie Els, big guy. Ergonomically, it's different for each player. So there's no exact position, but if you're taking the alignment there into position and you've got the shaft on plane, over plane there, going through the plane line, right elbow too close, then it's player specific. So Gareth, you need to try and get that angle there to ensure the trail elbow's in the right position. That is a little bit technical. I do appreciate that, but it's interesting. Every player's a different size, different height, different weight, different flexibility. So they're going to be in a slightly different position there. Air nails, his arms a lot bigger than me, his torso's a lot bigger. He's probably going to have more room between trail elbow and torso. So we're here, we're on plane. Great, now what happens if we know this fault, trail elbow too close? Trail elbow too far away, shaft cuts through the plane. And here, trail elbow too far away. You can see that flying right elbow, okay? So it's gauging the position there is great. Then the shoulders continue to turn. So I'm here, shoulders continue to turn, and wherever I get to at the top is where I get to. But I've passed through the correct position. My trail elbow in relation to my right rib cage, my trail rib cage, my trail side, <laughs> is relevant to me because I've got the swing on plane at that left arm parallel to the ground position. It's brilliant. So, another checkpoint, while you have your camera in place, you will need your camera for this one. When you get to this position here, if you were to draw a line, 
if you can draw a line in this position, draw a line from lead shoulder to trail shoulder, then a line from trail shoulder down to your trail elbow, and then back to your lead shoulder, so you've created a triangle. It's hard to do that when you're looking at the camera. <laughs> right, Steve, why are we drawing lines? <laughs> because you asked. That's why we're drawing lines. We're there. When you get to this position here, if I was to draw my lines on just now, now I'm not sure how good my camera angle is. It's not the camera I use for coaching. There. If I draw a line from trail shoulder to lead shoulder, down to trail elbow and back up again, so I've got my triangle. One or both of my hands should be in that triangle. I'm on plane. Okay. If, look. Okay. That was quite a stressful position to hold there. Specific with drawing the triangle, one or both hands should be in that triangle to ensure you're as close to being on plane as possible. A lot of guys on tour look for that. A lot of coaches on tour look for that position just to ensure that we're swinging on plane. The body's working, the hands are more in front of the chest. I'm there, I'm good. Club shafts parallel, take my lines. Is one or two hands in there? Brilliant. And then from there I can come back down. But Gareth, I hope that answers your question. I hope that tackles the how far should the trail elbow be from the trail side in the back swing. In fact, I'm going to hit a shot. Now I've done that, I have to, <coughs> on the golf course, I have to visualise the cane being in the ground. Now I can do that because my club shaft's already there, which is effectively as the cane. So I can take my address position, there, I'm good. Move that over, visualise, okay. I can see the angle, I've got an idea. Try and visualise that there. Back up, yeah, I'm on it. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good there, so my right elbow's doing its thing. I've not come too far inside. Too far inside is going to be here. Club shaft going out in this direction. I've not picked the club up too much. I've got myself there. So that's there, back to here. Good. Up, probably not far off it. Excellent, continue my swing down and through. So it's, a, it's having the power and the ability or educating yourself to have that visual, visual, visualization on the golf course. I actually forgot how to speak there. <laughs> this is my third video this morning and that's the best shot I've hit all day. Gareth, thank you very much. There we go. If you're a member of the channel, you can also leave me requests. Of course, I will reply to the request and create a video like this for you. If you're not a member of the channel, it's still business as usual for a subscriber. You get all the content except for the stuff that is for members only, obviously. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.